The closest governor's race we've had since 1979 when Dave Treen beat Lewis Lambert. So, uh, so th this is a tight race, and uh, that one was closer than this one. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, and uh, and and we have a a, a situation here where if uh, Rasponi really started off the runoff with the momentum, and I don't think he wore well, but when you look at the actual results, uh, John Bell Edwards won with African American votes and African American turnout. Uh, the 51 percent that the Republicans got combined in the primary fell to 49% in the runoff, and that was largely due to increased African-American turnout. And you saw there, uh, Mayor LaToya Cantrell exactly. on the stage with him as he gave that speech. But I'll exactly. tell you what, speech. look, when you, when, remember what Greg Rigamer was telling us earlier tonight, that uh, Edwards was polling north of 52, close to 53%. I think Donald Trump brought this closer. He just couldn't get Rasponi over the top because he turned out a lot of African-American voters and white Democrats as well. Trump is a double-edged sword everywhere he goes. He turns out his own base, of course, but he also turns out people who are against him. And I don't want to take anything away from the uh, turnout efforts that were already underway in the black community with dozens, literally dozens of civic and religious and, and political organizations working at the, at the street level, at the mm -hmm. precinct and parish levels to get African-American vote up uh, way above where it was in the primary, because it was low in the primary. And uh, Edwards asked them to, to answer the bell, and they did. But he also got a significant share of white vote. Look at the 60 or percent, uh, for 60 percent vote that he got in Jefferson Parish in the early votes, mm -hmm. the 41 percent early vote that he got in St. Tammany. Now that all those votes are coming in, he's still getting a very significant vote in those Republican strongholds. So he did what he had to do. He had to get a big black turnout, big African-American turnout, and he got 98 to 99 percent of that vote, and he got north uh, about 30 to 31 percent of the white vote, Since which is what he needed. Since this race was nationalized, let's take a look at it from a national mm -hmm. perspective. You had Kentucky, now you have Louisiana. What is the signal for the president? Well, it's a defeat for the president. Uh, I, I don't know that he could be blamed for it. Uh, as we talked earlier, it was really more about state issues and state personalities, even though Trump did have a, have a, have a role in it. But f from the standpoint of, you know, to the extent that it's victory for Democrats, uh, th that victory is pretty limited. How many national Democrats are pro-life and pro-gun rights uh, the way John Bell Edwards is. Uh